Continuing on with our discussion of digital logic simulators, um, this is the digital uh, logic simulator. It's a uh, freeware that you can get on GitHub. And uh, what I want to show you today is uh, um, splitters and tunnels. Splitters and tunnels. Okay. Well, let's start out with uh, splitters. Splitters allows us to take a bundle of wires and uh, and either merge them or separate them out so we can look at them either individually or as a crew. This is the basic splitter that comes in. I'm going to right click on this and show you the configuration. And 8 bits is total. This is the output. So all 8 bits are going to be grouped together. What the 4 comma 4 means is that uh, the first 4 and the second board are uh, bundled separately. You can actually split, uh, split these out even more. But we're going to just take this and use it as is just because it's uh, it's the default. We're going to go into advanced and we're going to spread this out give ourselves a little bit more room and we're going to say OK and we're going to show you how this works. Okay, So I'm going to put an output over here. Now since it's 8 bits I have to change this to uh, take in 8 bits. Okay, And we'll just leave that as is. Then we'll, the number format will be uh, binary we all we all understand binary and then input <coughs> over here will be two inputs and each one of these has to be four bits because these are grouped as four bits so let me go ahead and do this connect them up over here and change these to four bits and the format to binary <coughs> And then this will be four bits and change this to to binary. And now we'll run the simulation. Okay. So you see that the simulation over here, well this zero through three bits is the rightmost bit. So if we change this to one zero one zero, uh, then those appear over here, and then this one will change to 1100, zero, zero, that's actually 12, and apply that and we see that that shows up on the right hand side. Let me show you one other thing here with splitters before I go into tuttle, stop this simulation, and let me change the configuration a little bit so that you can see uh, how to do this. Again I'm just working with 8 bits, but the number of bits is immaterial, you can change the number of bits. So I'm going to change this to show you that we can separate out the bits uh, individually. And of course we want this uh, spread out just a little bit. And there we have. Now let me bring in another splitter and let me do the opposite. <clears throat> let me take the input and say it's 8 bits coming in and the output is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 8. Say OK. OK. And again let me spread this out a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to have is we're going to have the 8 bits coming over here, and we're going to have the. Uh, I'm doing a con selecting this, doing a control C, and just pasting. Control V, control V. these up <clears throat> and now we're going to go over here and we're going to put inputs and we're going to do the same thing we're going to select it and, oops Control C, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V, V, and there we go. And now we're going to connect these up, and we're going to show you that how this goes across. And this is a really a very nice way to actually just 
uh, kind of like a bus, is uh, kind of what we're looking at. I want to show you, that, convince you that this works. Splitters, very, very nice to have. They really are, especially if you're building a, a, a an earth managed logic unit. So let's start the simulation, and you can see that when we turn on the bits, the corresponding thing comes on. This is pretty cool. All right. <clears throat> Let's look at tunnels. Okay, we'll start simulation. We'll stop this simulation. And I'm going to uh, push the control button and select that wire and delete it. And then I'm going to put in a tunnel. And I'm going to show you how tunnels work. Okay, so we'll put a tunnel in there. And uh, it gives me a label. I've actually uh, uh, put in another uh, tunnel before, so I put in tunnel one, so it just incremented it to tunnel two. I'm actually going to change that to tunnel one and say OK. I'm going to put in another tunnel and it'll lay tunnel two. I'm going to change it to tunnel one, two. Now, the idea with tunnels is that what it does is two tunnels with the same name will get the same input. Okay, I'm actually going to rotate this one 180 degrees. And I'm going to put it down here. Oops. And connect it up there. And what a oops. What a tunnel does, it allows you to, to connect two circuits together uh, on the same page. Now I can't run across different circuits, but as long as they're on the same page here, this uh, this works and it works quite well. So Tunnel 1 will send everything to Tunnel 2. In fact, if I had more than tunnel one, one Tunnel 1, it would send it to those two. Again, it's directional. So uh, it's going to go from uh, this tunnel to that tunnel, since this is the output and this is the input. And when I start the simulation, <coughs> we're going to see here that, indeed, it does work. So that's, uh, that's actually pretty cool. So let's just convince ourselves that... Uh, We'll stop the simulation. Let me put in another tunnel, okay, and show you tunnel one. Oops. Okay, and again, uh, I'm going to rotate this to 180 degrees. Okay, and over here on output, I'm just going to put this. And I'm going to change the bits to 8 bits. And we're going to, the number format will be in uh, binary. And we'll say OK. And we'll, simulation, we'll start the simulation. And you'll see that whenever I turn these on over here, both the uh, LEDs over here and this binary get the same input. Very, very handy stuff to have. It really is. Uh, well, this is splitters and tunnels in digital logic. And uh, if you uh, enjoyed this, press like and consider subscribing to my channel. And look forward to doing another one for you.